I love trivia and fun facts, and Christmas gives me one of my favorite Bible trivia questions. So today, I want to share with you this trivia question. So let's find out just how much you know about the Christmas story. Welcome, explorers. And if you are making a list of the most famous Bible stories in all of Scripture, such as creation, Noah and the flood, David and Goliath, the crucifixion and resurrection, well, you are not getting too far down that list before you reach the birth of Jesus. The Christmas story, the nativity, it is without question one of the most famous Bible stories. I mean, this time of year, every year, we tell and retell this story. If you have been in church over the past month, I imagine your pastor has mentioned the shepherds from Luke 2 or the wise men from Matthew 2, or maybe you have one of those offbeat pastors that have preached John 1 and talked about Jesus being the eternal Logos who became flesh and dwelt among us. I imagine you have heard, read, or told parts of the Christmas story this year. I even imagine if you have not been in church, you have come across the Christmas story on TV, in nativity scenes, or some other chance crossing this year. We know this story well, so let's see if you can answer this simple question. I'm going to list four things, and all you have to do is tell me which are not found in Matthew, Luke, or John's nativity story. Bonus fun fact, the Gospel of Mark begins with the ministry of John the Baptist. So again, I'm going to list four things, and all you have to do is tell me which are not found in the Bible. Here we go. First, a donkey. Is there a donkey in the Christmas story? Second, a camel. Is there a camel in the Christmas story? Third, an innkeeper. Is there an innkeeper in the Christmas story? And fourth, a stable or a barn. Is there a stable in the Christmas story. So here are those four things again. Donkey, camel, innkeeper, and stable. Do you have the answer? Have you shouted out which are not in the Bible? Well, if you said donkey, that is correct. That is correct. And if you said camel, that is also correct. And if you said the old innkeeper, that too is correct. And finally, if you said stable or barn, I'm sure you've guessed it by now, that too is correct. None of these things, donkey, camel, innkeeper, or stable, are mentioned in the Bible. And so often, Mary is pictured riding a donkey and the wise men are pictured with camels, but the Bible does not mention any animals with Mary or the wise men. The only animals mentioned in the Christmas story are the flocks that the shepherds leave in the fields when they go find Jesus. But there are no animals mentioned around Jesus, Mary, or the wise men. So there is no donkey or camel mentioned in the Christmas story. Then there's the old innkeeper. Luke does tell us there is no room in the inn, but it's just stated as a fact in Luke. There is no innkeeper mentioned telling Joseph and Mary that there is no room in the inn. And the inn might not should be translated inn, but guest room or guest chamber. But that's another video. And finally, the one that usually blows the minds of most people is it is never mentioned in any gospel that Jesus was born in a barn or a stable. That is a complete inference. We know from Luke that Jesus was placed in a manger, which is an animal feeding trough. Jesus was again placed in an animal feeding trough after his birth, but the location of that feeding trough is not given in the story. Now you might be quick to say, but wouldn't a feeding trough only be found in a stable or barn? And to that I would say, not so fast. Archaeologists have discovered ancient homes in Israel with mangers in them. In fact, it is thought to be quite common for people in Jesus' day to have animals in part of the first floor of their homes. But also, to be fair, archaeologists have found stables with mangers as well. Luke just flat out does not tell us whether Jesus' manger is found in a home or in a stable. So, there is no donkey, no camel, no innkeeper, and no stable mentioned in Matthew 1 and 2, Luke 1 and 2, and even John 1, if you'd like to count that as a Christmas story. And I do. Well, did any of those surprise you? If they didn't, well then, you are well read in the Christmas story. 
I don't know of any Bible story that should encourage us to read our Bibles carefully more than the additions from tradition to the Christmas story. And finally, I did not give you this trivia question so you can be a Christmas nativity snob. Don't jump on folks who have shepherds and wise men on the same nativity scene saying, you know the shepherds and wise men visited Jesus at different times. <laughs> nativity scenes at my house often have Barbies or Ninja Turtles in them. And don't look at a nativity stable and humph. Luke never mentions a stable. And don't get onto the director of your church's Christmas pageant saying there is no innkeeper in the Christmas story. That kid playing the innkeeper needs that line in the Christmas pageant. And you need to go tell that kid, great job. I did not give you this trivia question to be a jerk. I gave it to you for three reasons. One, it should encourage us all to read our Bibles and read them carefully. Two, it's a great question. And three, to impress your friends at Christmas parties. Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. My bibliography is in the description below. Be blessed.